you have much of an interest in the 49ers Seahawks last night? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was on while, while we were game planning, kind of in the background. But I know you have uh, your own team to prepare, but is that a, is the scoreboard watching thing? Not at all. No, no, I think um, we're totally focused on what we have to do, and um, certainly we got to win a game. So we got to find a way to beat the Rams and on Monday Night Football. Do you mind, though, if your players, I think Aaron said, he's like, yeah, I'm going to watch the scores. Do you mind that they're at least conscious of it? Yeah, to each their own, right? I just think that, like, where my mindset is, um, is trying to prepare our team to be at our best come Monday night. Like, at least tell you, though, that, um, hey, like, they want this, you know, they want to get to the playoffs and they know they need help that they're in there. Well, I mean, these guys put so many time, so much time and energy into going out there and competing and winning. I mean, this that's what this league is all about. That's what sports are all about is there's always a winner and there's a loser. And, and you work year round to get, you know, into the dance to give yourself an opportunity because every team that, that uh, I mean, they, they're, they're, everybody's goal should be the same at the end of it. And um, so I think we got a long way to go. And certainly you just, you take it one day at, at, one day at a time, one game at a time. That being said, were you pleased with the results of last night? Sure, it was great. Um, will there be any restrictions on Romeo Dobbs in the game? Can you play him as much as you want? Or you know, what do you feel about his ability to uh, last game? Well, I, you know, I think you got to be realistic about it. Here's a guy that hasn't played football in, in a long time. Uh, I think he's done a nice job out at practice, but it's I, again, I think you just got to be realistic and not put too much on his plate. And certainly, we got a lot of guys that we feel good about, so I think you're able to do that. Offensively, obviously, it's been it's been a struggle for a lot of the season, but the last. Four games, you're sixth in scoring. So obviously you're doing some things, or actually a lot of things right. Other than Christian Watson, what, what have you seen there that's led to, led to some growth? I think everybody's kind of picked up their game. I think we're getting more consistent play in, in terms of everybody being on the same page on every play. Not that that wasn't happened, but um, certainly if a guy gets beat, on, uh, it, all it takes is one guy to get beat to, to blow up a play. So I just think the everybody's playing – and it has improved throughout the course of the season. Defensively, uh, we talked about Aaron Donald yesterday, but they shut down the Raiders pretty well on Thursday without him. Um, what have you seen from that group? You're saying the Rams defense? Yeah, the Rams yeah, defense. I, I think, yeah, I think they're going to – well, first of all, they, they've got a ton of great players. Uh, you know, shoot, Jalen Ramsey, you could argue he's top corner in the game, if not one of uh, – Bobby Wagner's been a, a, a pro bowler for his entire career. Uh, Floyd is still a hell of a rusher. And you could still see, even without Aaron, I, I thought that there were times in that game um, where they were able to generate a lot of pressure on Carr um, and, and really collapse the pocket. I think they got, they've got one of the best run defenses in the game, and they do a great job up front. They do a, lot, a great job of giving you multiple – personnel groupings that you got to prepare for. Um, so it does kind of limit your game plan to some extent just with preparing for all the different looks that they can give you. So I think collectively they've, you know, they've done a pretty nice job. What, what makes that run defense so tough, Matt? Because it seems like they're able to stop the run whether Donald's in there or not. Yeah, I just, again, I think they just, they've got a lot of great players. I think it's a great scheme and uh, Raheem does a hell of a job getting his guys in position and, um, you know, it just, they, they fly to the football. Matt, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you have one snap of four wide receivers against the Bears where you had four wide receivers on the field? We did. You don't do that very often. Was that because of a personnel issue or do you like the idea at some point Maybe taking a tight end off the field and using your wide receivers like that. Yeah, I think it's on a game by game basis. Uh, there were there were a few situations that we had planned for for that game in particular where we were going to put ten personnel out on the field. 
you know, is that dependent on who you have? I mean, the way you would use your tight end versus wide receivers, or do you always want a tight end out of the field? I would say, I mean, if you just look at us traditionally, um, more often than not, we have a tight end out on the field in some capacity and sometimes multiple tight ends. So, um, you know, it, it's so game plan based when, when we do a 10 personnel or whatever it may be.